Hello there and welcome to this episode of Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts presented by the Hammond Square Mall as we're right here at East of Italy this week as they're being our host and you can see all this wonderful food behind us. We're going to, uh, this is all edible, we're going to dive into this later on and then we're going to tell you more about East of Italy as the program goes on. We want to thank them for being our host this week but at this time we're going to welcome uh, the head football coach of your Southeastern Lions, Coach Ron Roberts and coach thanks for being here. Uh, this was a, a very emotional game this past Saturday on the road against McNeese State. I know you're disappointed, came up a little bit short but uh, you got to give those guys credit. It was a good college football game. No doubt, no, they were a very good football team. Uh, and uh, defensively, their their team they played outstanding. It was a big defensive battle the whole second half. Uh, hard fought football game. We just came up short. Well, coach, what do you take out of out of this one? You know, since you've been here at Southeastern, haven't haven't lost a whole lot of the conference games. So now you got to bounce back this week against a good Stephen F. Austin team coming in. But what do you take out of this loss? Well, again, uh, I think uh, we still got to. We're still in the process right now. We're, it's still early enough to. It's still about. We still need to get better. Uh, we talked about the big goal last week was eliminating mistakes, and we didn't. We had three turnovers. We committed several mistakes in that ball game um, that we're not able to overcome, and uh, you know, that's a big part of it. You know, again, we just got to make sure we take care of ourselves, focus on ourselves, and come out ready to play next week. And coach, if this season's gonna end up the way you want it to, you're going to have to go on the road and play in some hostile environments. And we saw a hostile environment this past Saturday. Oh, yeah. You've got to love those things. I think, I think as a player, you know, in those situations, you've got to feed off that. You've got to feed off the energy inside that stadium, whether it was negative energy, but it's still, you know what I mean? It's still, it's still there. It's a great environment for college football, and uh, you've got to make the most of it. That's just, that's just the way things go on the road. All right, we'll go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the highlights as the Lions took on McNeese State. As we're right here at East of Italy, as East of Italy is a gourmet pizza and Italian restaurant with a South Louisiana twist, the best gourmet pizza in the Tangibaho area. All right, we'll be back with more right here on Inside Southeastern Football with Head Coach Ron Roberts, presented by the Hemisphere Square Mall. Inside Southeastern Football is made possible by East of Italy, located in the Hammond Square Mall and at 600 Franklin Avenue in New Orleans near the lakefront. East of Italy serves traditional Italian fare with a distinct New Orleans twist, featuring succulent crawfish, southern spices, and made fresh everyday bread. You won't find a more tasty dish of Italian food anywhere else in the city. Regardless of your needs or desires, East of Italy can satisfy your hunger. For more information on East of Italy, please visit eastofitaly.com or check them out on their Facebook page. Your eyesight is so important, and when it comes to your eye care, let the friendly staff at the Bond Roden Eye Clinic care for you. Doctors Hunter Bond and Chris Roten, along with their staff of trained doctors, are committed to providing every patient with quality care. The Bond Roten Eye Clinic has the latest medical technology and eye care to help you, the patient. With over 14 years of experience, the Bond Roten Eye Clinic has three locations to serve you with offices in Denham Springs, Hammond, and Ameet. So if it's a checkup, glasses, or LASIK surgery, you need to visit the Bond Roten Eye Clinic. For more information on the clinic, please visit bondroteniclinic.com. Inside Southeastern Football with Coach Ron Roberts is supported by Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction, located in Southeastern's hometown of Hammond, Louisiana. Louisiana's First Choice Auto Auction is a dealer-only auto auction locally owned by John Poteet. For more information on Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction or their upcoming charity golf tournament, please visit www. LAFCAA.com or visit Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with Head Coach Ron Roberts presented by the Hammond Square Mall as we're right here at East of Italy in Hammond uh, this week. We're now going to take a look at the highlights as the Lions took on the McNeese State Cowboys over in Lake Charles. Guys, the crowd's filling in nicely down here. Ought to be a great night for football. Hey, Captain, what is your call? Tails. The call is tails. The call is tails. To receive for the Cowboys. High of close as it hits this one high. And into the left corner, fielded at the three. Coming back near side is Bush, and he is blasted by Jaquinic Sandoff. And also Harlan Miller. In the backfield, Sam drops the throw. Has pressure on the out route caught first down. That is complete by himself. Sams takes it. He'll run the football left side. He's got a big hole. And he's going to be brought down by Harlan Miller after a game of about six or seven. I'll go no back here on first down. Sams to throw. Wants the tunnel screen. It's caught by Tavarius Batiste. He runs into his own man. He picks up about four or five out of across the 40 to the 42. He'll take it. Southeastern comes with it. Can't uh, get to him. He's got a man down the middle of the field. And it's caught. This is going to be a touchdown. It's going to beat Harlan Miller. And Harlan runs him down inside the five. That was Shelby who uh, got loose in the secondary. Southeastern had no help. That way. Second and goal. Here's Sam. He'll keep it straight ahead. Puts his head down into the end zone. And the Cowboys 
very uh, methodically and easily drive down the football field and leave this one six nothing. Six nothing. Your score. Extra point on the way for the Cowboys. And John Bro has it teed up. Very loud stadium. Here to start. This is the line drive. Going to take Roberson back to his goal line. He can come back with it. To the 10, 15, 20. Breaks a tackle. 30. Runs into a man across the 35. Out to the 36-yard line. So Roberson, man, slightly near side. And her call for. Swing it right side to Smiley. He's not going to get much. Maybe a yard or two. Hines will have to punch. I'm standing back at his 27. It's a low snap. Bobbles it. And now hits a pretty good kick. It's going to take Bush. Inside his 10. Ball bouncing. Lions got a chance to down it. And they do it around the 5 or 6 yard line. Ocean right side. Sands wants to run quarterback power right. He turns the corner. He's got the first down easily. Now the cross. 15 to the team slot left, two tight ends. It's be a hand the ball. fumbled in the backfield, picked up by Sams. Not before he loses five yards. Lions. Lions will show pressure. And here they come. Quarterback draw, and he can run all day. Breaks a tackle into the secondary. First down. And I tell you, Southeastern blitz. That's the last thing right there you want to do, Robbie, with a quarterback like Sams. McNeese, three for three on third down. Sams will sweep it right side to Ross. He's hit, uh, stood up, fights forward, picks up about five or six. Sam wants to change the play. Sends man in motion, takes it, and hands it straight ahead to Ross. He's got a big hole. He's hit, has the first down, breaks the tackle, and he is gone, and the Cowboys lead it 13 to nothing. Ryan Ross. And half is low, it's corralled, went down, kick is through. Cowboys lead it 14 0. We'll keep it right here. Uh, he, he took it right up the middle. And once uh, Southeastern blitz had nobody in contain, he's able to break it for a big play to see his drive line. Here's Roberson coming back the other way. Again, another nice return out across the 35 yard line. Baker wants to run option left. He'll pitch left. Sutton's got it. He's sprung out for no game. Lions will have to punt. Cowboys are They got the ball on the play. And the ball came out. They're going to point McNeese's way. Sutton is for the third time. Ham is your running back. He's going to get it. And he's hitting the backfield. He breaks a tackle, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe lost the yard. He's hit about three yards deep. Broke up. Sam with three wides left. Looking to throw. Ball is batted down. Incomplete. That was Ryan Sigurds coming on the They can't hear the snap. That's call for it. Three-man rush. Landers flushed out of the pocket. Looking. He can take off and run for it, and he's out across the 20, short of the first down. Lions will have to punt. And, uh, he's on the first quarter, lead it 14 0. We'll switch into the field back in one minute to third and seven for the Cowboys. Stands, takes it. Lions will come after it. They heat him up and got it. That is Jordan Baptiste. Came right down the middle, unmolested. To the near side is William Prince. It's Jay Baker. He'll play fake. Rolling right. Looking. Has a man deep. That's French. And he's got it. 15, 10, 5 to the goal line. Face Flag mask, is down. That'll be a face mask. But I'll tell you, the Shea Lander rolling against his body got his shoulders. And the lineup is too tight. The wing. Offset eye left. This is Roberson straight ahead. He is into the end zone. Southeastern has half the McNeese lead 14 to 6. So just like that, the Lions strike with 13.08 to play here in the first. Snap is clean. The kick is good. Southeastern trails 14-7. And that's uh, how you answer Robbie Rhodes. Great throw, great catch on the big play by, by William French. And I think I'm with Allen. I don't think he was able to see the ball until the very last second. One running back, two wides, a couple of tight ends in the ball game. Sam's is going to hand it left side to Ross. Well, that's a great play call, and he's got big running room. Into the secondary, down to the Lions 32-yard line. That is an outstanding. Here's Ross again straight ahead, and this time Southeastern stands him up at the line of scrimmage. Trey Bennett, Ashton Henderson. Lots of fake. It's a high snap, gets it off, and it's uh, not going to make it. Southeastern turns the Cowboys away. Hit it low. But not sure if the Lions got a hand on it, but he's got backfield on second and seven. Play fake. Landers wants to go deep. On the corner route. has got a man. It's incomplete. 
Wanted a flag, wanted to go to Dylan Bozier, didn't get off the middle, pass is caught. On the slant, that'll be a first down. Out to midfield, Khalil Thomas. Nice job by Sam. Saved off. That's really the only one I could think of. We had a false start. There's another play fake. Sam wants to go deep. Down the near side, Harlan breaks it up. Great job, great coverage on Kent Shelby. End zone, Smiley in motion, far side. Takes it, hands it away. Right side, Roberson, big hole into the secondary, 15-20. Runs over a man out to the 28-yard line. Xavier. Now they back out of it. No rush three. Landon steps up for the pocket. Going far side, throws that one way out of bounds. Incomplete line collapse. This will be a sweep right That's side to Ross. And boy, breaks a tackle. Lions had him in the backfield. He jumped over a man. He is in the Lions territory to the 47. Right side, right hash. Stands in the quarterback power. He stood up, and he is going to fall down back at the 41. And a flag comes in late. They're going to call a face mask on Southeastern, I think. Fifth year senior. First and goal. Here's Ross, left side. He's into the end zone. Touchdown again. Just outnumbered Southeastern. And uh, got through a crease, and McNeese has opened up. Manual for the extra point. Kick is up. Now here they come. On the bubble. It's caught. Tries to slip a tackle. Smiley does. Has the first down. Still on his feet. Jeff Smiley, 40, 45 midfield. Jeff Smiley on the bubble. Wow. That's a great play call by Coach Chet. And here they come. Lander flushed out of the pocket. He's going to go down. Ball is fumbled out of bounds. Lions will be called for holding. Field for either team. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Lander, three-man rush. Steps up. Goes deep. Got receivers down there. It is incomplete. And that was definite interference. Which... Ron, a, a tough-fought game against McNeese. They hit a couple big plays early in the game, got behind. We, we make it 14-7, to and then it just really became a defensive struggle there in the second half. Really, neither, neither team could do anything. Yeah, I really went a little old school in the second half. It was the most uh, hard-fought games, both sides of the ball. A lot of punting. <laughs> That's basically most of the highlights. So uh, uh, I was proud of that. I thought our special teams was uh, – uh, I thought we made huge steps forward in that part of it. Uh, I thought Harrisonheim did a great job of punting, kickoffs, uh, just did a fabulous job in that category. Coach, I'll ask you this. Uh, now that you've had a chance to, to watch the game tape and, and dissect this thing against McNeese, is, I know there's some, some questions uh, about offensively. Was it them defensively, their effort, or was it lack of execution offensively uh, for yeah, us? A little bit of both. We wanted to be able to handle the things we can control. They're, they're very good defense. I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're outstanding, actually. Uh, and. Uh, uh, when you play teams like that, it's just more important. You, you've got to be on cue. You, you cannot make mistakes. And uh, we had way too many mental errors, drop balls, um, things like that to, to compensate, to be able to compensate against a, a great defense like that. So the Lions drop this one against McNeese State. We'll look to rebound this weekend as they take on Stephen F. Austin at home for a homecoming matchup. Just a reminder, we're right here at East of Italy. And I just want to remind you, looking to get a head start on shopping for the holidays, East of Italy offers reward members the ability to purchase wine by the case at wholesaler prices. Bottles of wine are excellent gifts to give to your family, friends, coworkers, or even your staff. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have more right here on Inside Southeastern Football. Head coach Ron Roberts presented by the Hammond Square Mall and East of Italy. Inside Southeastern Football is made possible by East of Italy, located in the Hammond Square Mall and at 600 Franklin Avenue in New Orleans near the lakefront. East of Italy serves traditional Italian fare with a distinct New Orleans twist, featuring succulent crawfish, southern spices, and made fresh everyday bread. You won't find a more tasty dish of Italian food anywhere else in the city. Regardless of your needs or desires, East of Italy can satisfy your hunger. For more information on East of Italy, please visit eastofitaly.com or check them out on their Facebook page. Inside Southeastern Football with Coach Ron Roberts is supported by Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction, located in Southeastern's hometown of Hammond, Louisiana. Louisiana's First Choice Auto Auction is a dealer-only auto auction locally owned by John Poteet. For more information on Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction or their upcoming charity golf tournament, please visit www.lafcaa.com or visit Louisiana First Choice auto auction on Facebook and Twitter. Rindy's Quick Stop located just outside the gates of Southeastern on University Drive has everything you need in a convenience store. If you're looking for a quick snack or a full service cold drink fountain, hot food to go from Champ's Chicken and Fish to, or an ice cold beer, make sure you visit Rindy's Walk-In Beer Cooler. 
Rendy's also has a huge selection of import and domestic wine. So whether you're running low on gas or whether you just want to pick up lunch or supper to go, visit Rendy's Quick Stop. Rendy's accepts Lions Lanyap for Southeastern students. Rendy's Quick Stop, a proud supporter of Southeastern football. Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with Head Coach Ron Roberts presented by the Hammond Square Mall as we're right here at East of Italy, uh, right here in Hammond. As uh, Coach Roberts still on set with us, we're going to actually have Julie Paris come up here in a few moments and talk to us about homecoming week. But first, Coach, we're going to have our Lion Profile of the Week and we're going to take a look at Joe Graves, a guy from Covington High School who's had a very good career here for you at Southeastern. Oh, outstanding, and he's going to be a very successful young man. Whatever he chooses to do, he's just one of those guys that really an ideal student athlete for our program. Uh, great representative of Southeastern Hull University. No doubt about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this story on center Joe Grace. A leader both on the field and in the classroom, senior offensive lineman Joe Graves exemplifies what is expected of Southeastern student athletes. Graves, who is from right up the road in Covington, Louisiana, has been both a model student and excellent football player from the first day he arrived at Southeastern. And football has been good to Joe. I've always been defined as a football player. You know, everything I do, um, I love the game, um, I love you know coming to work every day, I love hanging out with the guys, um, they're like my family. Um, it's just, uh, it's almost indescribable uh, to actually put into words what it means, but it's, it's everything. It's, uh, it's gave me a chance, you know, to play uh, college football, get, you know, gave me, uh, you know, a way to get a free education. Joe took advantage of that free education when he accepted a scholarship to come to Southeastern. Living only 20 miles from the Hammond campus played a major role in deciding where to go to school. I'll admit it to you, uh, I'm a mama's boy. Um, I love my family um, and I, I wanted to be close. Um, really more than anything it was uh, Coach Rob. You know, I was uh, sort of at a dead end when it when, uh, came to college offers and then as soon as Southeastern offered me I thought, you know, I can't let this one get away. And um, it was the best decision of my life. Uh, I love it here. I love being close to home. I love everything about Southeastern, and I'm glad I came. Once on campus, Joe never looked back. Academically, Joe is in his ninth semester at Southeastern and currently has a 3.885 grade point average. Joe has been on the President's Honors List every semester and is on the university's Leadership Council. Joe will graduate this May with a degree in history with at least two championship rings on his hand and hopefully a third one. Joe epitomizes what you want in a student athlete. You know, when we recruit kids in here, whether we're talking about football, basketball, baseball, soccer, whatever it may be, you know, we want the kids to walk, come here, walk across stage, grab a diploma, and have a conference championship ring. Joe does that. You know, he's got two championship rings. You know, like you said, all the honors he has academically, he's going to graduate. That's what it's all about. Academics are extremely important to me. It goes back to when I was a kid, you know. Um, I remember my mom. Uh, she would never let me go outside or anything like that until like I had finished my homework. Uh, you know, I'd come home for school, and even if she, you know she wasn't there yet, I had to sit at the table and do my homework. Whether it be on the field or in the classroom, Joe earned some very high praise from his head coach. Yeah, he does a tremendous job on and off the field. Uh, I think Joe's one of the guys you say he exemplifies what you look for in a student athlete. Getting it done off the field, uh, does a great job on the field. Does a great leader on the field. Football player, been a three-year starter. Um, this is a phenomenal job all across the board. There's still a lot of football to play this year, and Joe has his sights set on a third championship ring. But Joe also has his sights set on the main prize, which will come in the spring. Starting with the college diploma, for me, that's, uh, that's always what I've been told was you're going to go to college and you're going to graduate. So for me to do that, I think that would make me and my mom very happy. It would really mean a lot to me to not only get the third conference ring, but to really uh, to compete again for a national title and, and hopefully bring that to Hammond as well. Well, there you have it. Joe Gray has been a, such a great player here for Southeastern and looks to finish up his senior year strong in the second half as we now welcome to the show. Uh, Miss Julie Paris, who always comes on when it's homecoming week, because it's a big week for us here at Southeastern in the Hammond community. Sure. As uh, tell, tell our uh, viewers about what our theme is and some special events going on this okay. week. Well, you know, our students get to choose our theme every year, Alan. So uh, this year they chose Rumi's Big Night on Broadway. So that should be a lot of fun. The students are um, decorating and making all their floats and everything around the theme uh, and uh, choosing a musical. So they're getting some arts into the homecoming spirit as well. So we're excited about that. This is always one of my favorite times of the year as you drive through downtown Hammond, you see all the, the businesses that have painted their windows and things of that nature. It's great to see our community get behind our university. It sure is. 
they participate. We have the um, Downtown Development District and our Chamber of Commerce here in Hammond do so much to help us out with our community activities. They allow the students to come in and decorate the windows of the businesses and all of the businesses get really excited and uh, really on board and excited about the homecoming. So we're, we're so thankful for them. As you can see, there's a lot of events going on this week. Julie handed me this list with just tons <laughs> of events that's going on. You can go to our uh, to Southeastern's website and check that out uh, to see all the different events. But let's talk about a few of them. You know, obviously, um the, the bonfire on Thursday night is always a big sure. event. Also, the awards banquet on Friday and then the big parade on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of great things going on. Our students actually are, are really gearing up for the bonfire. So they're going to be out there on Thursday night. Um, they're going to try to light the bonfire around 630. And uh, we hope to have uh, lots going on there. They also follow that with their lip sync contest. So that's always fun. Um, we also on Friday, we've got uh, some things going on as well. We have our golf team is sponsoring the homecoming golf shamble that starts at one o'clock over at Carter Plantation so we're looking forward to that and then our big night is uh, Friday night at 630 that's our alumni awards evening and we give out all of our awards this is our premier event of the year we also have uh, a, a time to honor our special alumni yeah. that come in and uh, this year we have uh, an, an alumnus of the year whose name is uh, Colonel John Whitney. He has been with the uh, Special Forces in the military for 30 years. And so we're excited to have him back. Very decorated gentleman, has worked with the World Health Organization and uh, lots of different uh, areas uh, in outbreaks and uh, things of that nature. And so he's a very interesting gentleman. We look forward to hearing from him Friday night. And we have a young man, a gentleman uh, named Matthew Magnuson out of Baton Rouge, who is our young alumnus of the year and he actually uh, is the chief technical technical officer and owner uh, of his own company that uh, has developed a sensor to detect the weight in ships so uh, and he uh, has done quite well with his degree after he graduated from Southeastern so we're excited to honor him as well we have a lot of other people that we're honoring that night but those two are our special honorees for sure so you can see a lot going on and then on Saturday obviously the big tailgate out in Friendship Circle and the homecoming parade will be at 3 o'clock and then at halftime they'll uh, name homecoming king and queen. Ought to be a whole lot of fun. I know that your office and yourself just do a ton of work for we this do. week all year long but especially this week. We do but we have so much fun and we love having all the alumni back and coming out on campus and uh, supporting uh, all of the activities. There's lots going on in Friendship Circle that day and of course we are very excited about the football game as well so we're looking forward to a win. Well there you have it Miss Julie Paris. Thank you for joining us and we'll go ahead and take a break. We'll come back we'll have more right here on Inside Southeastern Football. Head Coach Ron Roberts presented by the Hammond Square Mall as we're right here at East of Italy. Inside Southeastern Football is made possible by East of Italy, located in the Hammond Square Mall and at 600 Franklin Avenue in New Orleans near the lakefront. East of Italy serves traditional Italian fare with a distinct New Orleans twist, featuring succulent crawfish, southern spices, and made fresh everyday bread. You won't find a more tasty dish of Italian food anywhere else in the city. Regardless of your needs or desires, East of Italy can satisfy your hunger. For more information on East of Italy, please visit eastofitaly.com or check them out on their Facebook page. Inside Southeastern Football is made possible by Hammond Nursing Home. As a longtime member of the community, Hammond Nursing Home provides residents an option of quality nursing care in a home-like environment. We understand that there is no place like home, but we strive to maintain a warm, friendly, active environment for all that choose to be a part of our family. Owner Ray Nockhan, a Southeastern graduate and former football player, and his son, Marcus Nockhan, along with the entire Nockhan family, strive to make Hammond Nursing Home the premier nursing home and rehab center in the Hammond area. For more info on Hammond Nursing Home, please visit their website at HammondNursingHome.com. Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with Head Coach Ron Roberts, presented by the Hammond Square Mall. We're right here at East of Italy. And just a reminder that the holidays are just around the corner, and East of Italy right here offers a spacious mezzanine. That's actually where we are. That is free with the purchase of all food and beverages. So book your holiday party today, and you'll even receive a free $25 gift card. That's a pretty good deal right here at East of Italy. All right, Coach, let's turn our attention to this weekend, a 7 o'clock kickoff on Saturday night. It's homecoming uh, at Stephen F. Austin, and this is kind of always a strange week for, for your players because they they're pulled in so many different directions. you got to really focus on football this week. Yeah, it really becomes sometimes there's so many, so many events, so many things going on, and, and people are vying for their attention that uh, 
but we really got to focus to make sure the, the homecoming events and uh, all, the, all the things going on campus don't become a distraction for them. It's really hard for us. We need to make sure we maintain focus and make sure that, that our game is the most important thing that we do this week. All right, Coach, let's talk about uh, SFA a little bit. This is a team that's kind of been off to a, a weird start here to, to start 2015. As this team had a lot of publicity going into the year. A lot of people yep. thought they might could win the league. Uh, didn't start out the way they wanted to. They're coming off a victory last week against Nichols, but this is a team that beat us last year. You know, yeah. they have a lot of players that came back. Uh, they're talented quarterback and, and Clint. I mean, and uh, Zach Conk, Clint yep. Conk, their coach's son. Uh, they're they're going to bring a good football team. I, don't be don't be, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Don't be um, fooled by their record when no, they no. come in here this Saturday night. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a good football team. They've been in every battle. They've, they've played some tough teams. Uh, you know, TCU was one of those losses. Again, they lost to McNeese. Uh, so they've had some tough opponents. Uh, I think they're a good football team. And again, we're, we're coming back off a, 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 a down game, and, and we got to make sure that game doesn't jump up and bite us twice. So it's real important that we get, we get after the folks this week and we have a great football game. SFA uh, was in the game right to the end against McNeese and also Sam Houston State. So this is a very good football team coming in here Saturday night. That's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for joining us. We also want to just remind one more time East of Italy for being our host this week. And a reminder, they wanted me to, to get out there that on October the 31st from 5 to 8, East of Italy will be hosting their second annual Halloween costume party a contest for all of our uh, rewards members. All ages are welcome to participate. There will be a group contest for all SLU students with $500 up for grab. Bring your scariest and most creative costume and let's uh, test your scare o -meter. So that's going to do it for us. Thank you once again to East of Italy. They always treat us so well as they're going to bring us up some food here to eat in just a moment. As Just a reminder, come out there Saturday night, 7 o'clock kickoff, as your Lions look to get back in the winning ways against Stephen F. Austin right there at Strawberry Stadium. For Coach Ron Roberts, I'm Alan Waddell. We'll see you next week. To the near side is William Prince. It's Jay Baker. He'll play safe. Rolling right, looking. Has a man beat. That's Prince, and he's got it. 15, 10, 5 to the goal line. Face Flag mask, is down. That'll be a face mask. But I'll tell you, the Shea Lander rolling against his body. The lineup is too tight. The wing, offset eye left. This is Roberson straight ahead. He is into the end zone. Southeastern has half the McNeese lead, 14 to 6. So just like that, the Lions strike. The 13 8 to the third and 7 for the Cowboys. Sams takes it. Lions will come after him. They heat him up. They got it. That is Jordan Batiste.